I'm Julia Holland Austin, and I am a senior research chemist working for the Heritage Group within a company called Biosynthetic Technologies. Our world's future is bright. There are so many new and existing innovations happening every day, but we have to be responsible and look at the long-term effect we have on our world. Everyday products such as cars, boats, and trucks use oils that aren't so environmentally friendly. As a research chemist here in Indianapolis, Indiana, I work every day with my team to use science to make these products more sustainable and eco-friendly. We replace existing ingredients with new, more sustainable ingredients. It's important to me for the future, for the sustainability of the planet, making sure that we leave something good for the future instead of just always taking from the earth. Some of the places you might see our products are reef safe sunscreens, personal care industry, motor oils, and in the manufacturing industries. In my lab, a lot of my day is spent on the bench doing the research, putting together the reactions, doing the analysis, looking at the applications. There's a lot of moving parts and pieces and no day is exactly the same as the day before. Some of the tools that I use in my lab on a regular basis are glass reactors, titrators, and nuclear magnetic resonance. NMR would tell us how the hydrogens are spinning and how many hydrogens there are so that we can actually characterize what we've made inside of our reaction. It's really fulfilling to have a career in STEM because I know that my work is making an impact on the world, and right now I know that it's making a positive impact on the world. S is for science, and that is the foundation of what we do here every day whenever we're doing chemistry to react molecules. T is for technology. We use technology every day with the equipments that we use to help analyze all of our data. And without these complex computers, we wouldn't be able to figure out what we've made. E is for engineering. Engineering is important whenever you commercialize a product because you need chemical engineers, mechanical engineers, civil engineers, electrical engineers, and even environmental engineers to manufacture molecules. M is for math. Math is used every day in chemistry to figure out your reaction balances. I need to know what parts and how much of each one that I need to use. As a kid, I was really quiet and shy. I liked everything in school. There's not a single subject that I ever really didn't like. I kind of gravitated towards science as I got a little bit older and science became a little bit more interesting. STEM is fantastic and I love everything about it. I think if you're interested in it and you start to feel passion about it, don't let anybody tell you that you shouldn't do it because you're a girl. I don't think there's as many gender boundaries as there were whenever I was going into chemistry, but even then, I didn't listen to them and I found a career that I really fulfills me and I'm very passionate about. Outside the classroom, there are a lot of different programs that you can be involved in. The Children's Museum has a really good STEM lab where you can go and learn about science. There's a lot of different things in the city of Indianapolis. We do have a lot of innovation going on in the city. If you know somebody, just talk to an adult. Talk to somebody that's in that field. There's a lot of people that are willing to talk to you about it and, and give you some pointers and some direction. I love the work I do. I think it's really fun. It's challenging, but there's always opportunity to learn. And I feel like that that's a very important thing for me, trying to always do the right thing and always trying to strive for something better. I'm Julia Holland Austin. I'm a senior research chemist at Biosynthetic Technologies. I use my STEM education to develop innovations for a sustainable future.